So I don't think I'm going to have time later to cook and I have so many ingredients in the fridge that I just need to get rid of so I decided that I'm going to make some sort of jjigae, I really don't know, uh, probably like the same type of kind of, I guess it'd be like pute jjigae but it's not really pute jjigae. But I do make this quite often when I just need to like clear the fridge, um, so I guess make some jjigae with me. I essentially just leave it like this. I was gonna put the tubu in, but then I decided I should probably wait. And then, yeah, I just let it boil and simmer for as long as possible. <laughs> it's been a bit of a hectic morning. Um, granted, I was like cooking super early right before I started working. Um, and it is still in the simmering phase. Um, it's boiled through a couple times um, and I finally added the tofu since a lot of the veggies have kind of softened up. Um, the meat is still not as, not the texture that I want it. It should be really like falling apart. And it's still got a little bit more of a chew than I would like. So I'm still waiting on that. Um, but it's almost like noon and I'm finally getting to making myself my coffee. Um, but I bought the Trader Joe's blueberry lavender almond milk the other day. I was like, I'm going to just treat myself, you know, let's, let's just see how good could it be. Delicious. I mean, I make my coffee with espresso, a little bit of coffee creamer, and then almond milk, and that's kind of like my latte in the morning. Um, and honestly, with that almond milk, that flavored almond milk, I think I could reduce the amount of coffee creamer I put in. I could I, I think maybe tomorrow I need to try without any. I wake up, I don't wanna make my bed, I'll save up on my end. Instead, you take up all the energy I have inside. And I can't find a way to just ignore me. And I can't really take it anymore. Cause we are doing the art of gaslighting. She is here, but he cannot see her because of this bed frame. And so I take the opportunity right now, since we're in the stage of space swapping, to have the door open so that he can see that she is here, I guess, but he doesn't know where. So it kind of gives him the time to get used to her scent and feel like there isn't something out to get him. Isn't that right, Henry? Because Henry's a smart boy. Yeah, he's a kind, sharing, and giving. Okay, you're freaking me out. Oh my god, she's literally not even here. You scared me. I literally thought she was gonna come out. She's not coming out. Okay. See, there's nothing. I don't know if you guys can understand how big and small. Like, do you see that difference? 
as long as he doesn't look over this edge that's all that matters who would have thought that they'd literally be this close and he has no clue and Hilma doesn't care because Hilma's just too scared in general um and she's been with a lot of other cats yeah she's snoozing but Henry's like investigating but also needs to like be drugged up to get me through another lonely night I wanna fall asleep but I shouldn't fall asleep this time cause lately I've been sleeping way too much cause baby I've been dreaming about us and I can't help but wish that all my dreams came This is the best way to see how different their size is. Henry. Lately you've been counting way too many sheep. Hilma. Do you see how he literally takes up the whole entire bed? And this one's bigger. This bed is smaller and she barely takes it up. Go. So this is what I'm thinking for today's self day OOTD. Um, I just have to pick up some stuff and then since I'm out and the weather is nice, I thought I could, I don't know, go out and do stuff. I ended up getting mixed up with my directions, which is very typical of me. I'm very bad with directions, but it's actually better because then I get to walk around a little bit more, enjoy the nice sunny weather, and there were some other stores that I wanted to pop into, so I'll probably do that right now. Why not? I got the goods. We got some churros. I'm gonna walk to like a more shaded, chill space and then we can try it. Okay, I'm gonna just pull up to the side and try it because I thought this was a park, but it wasn't. Yeah. Oh my god, that's really good. <laughs> it's like, so, like they just made it and you can tell. So crunchy too. Mmm. My soul. So I have been kind of just wandering the apartment for like the past three hours 
Um, lately, I have been waking up at like 6.45, earliest 6.30, latest 7 o'clock. So I get really bored and throughout the week, it's not really a problem since it gives me time to just like do my morning things, spend time with the rats, that's what we call them. Henry's the rat, Hilma's a mouse, um, but on the weekends, it's this is like pretty agonizing. Um, I am literally bored to death and nothing's really open at like 7.30 a.m. Um, so at this point, I've come to a breaking point. I am so, so bored. Today's weather is so nice and I don't have plans until the way evening. So I thought, I mean, right now it's like a little bit past 10. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just go bike around Brooklyn um, and kind of just stop by some thrift stores, like home good thrift stores, see if I can pick up any more trinkets because clearly, clearly I need more trinkets. <laughs> Ready to go. Let's go. Okay. So here's what happened. Oh, there's a car coming. So let's let the car go. Okay, so I definitely overestimated myself. It has been a while since I've ridden my bike. I will admit that, but wow. I am so out of shape. For me to even think that I can go over the Pulowski Bridge. In, in, insanity like I'm struggling right now just to even get to gantry Ugh. this is good I'm getting, getting some sun I'll go home early okay I either need a bike more or get an e-bike <laughs> I also need to carry on my asthma inhaler. I am walking home because I just realized that I have a flat tire. I don't know why I didn't notice. Maybe that was one of the many reasons I was struggling. But the air out of my front tire is like pretty much gone. The back one's like all right, but it also doesn't have enough air. So now I can't ride it back home, which is fine because I would have gotten an asthma attack, but. This is not what I imagined my day was going to look like. This is the current reality of having to walk home. I'm almost home. I think I have like an hour, not an hour, a block and a half. Maybe just like one block. Thank God. <laughs> 